My name is Tanya and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about North African cooking, start by hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. Preparing the Beha, which is a traditional Algerian dish from the city of Algiers. This is a vegan dish that utilizes the abundance of fresh in season vegetables. This is of this dish, but today we're going to be preparing one that my family favors. The ingredients that we're going to be using in our dish are sweet peas. I'm using frozen, but you can also use fresh. We're also going to be using fava beans, also called broad beans, and artichokes. Let's begin. So as with all of our dishes, we're going to be adding a little bit of olive oil into our pan and then sauteing our onions in the olive oil until nice and soft. And then we're going to add in our garlic. So unlike the neighboring Tunisia and Morocco, Algerian cooking relies, relies heavily on natural ingredients and simple preparations, not on a lot of different spices. So as you can see in this dish, I won't be using a lot of spices. I'll just be letting the natural flavors of the ingredients shine through, inshallah. One grated ripe tomato. You can use canned if that's what you have, but it's preferable to use real ripe tomato. Pepper. You can also use black pepper if you like. All of this to one side and add in a tablespoon of tomato paste. So I'm moving this to the side so that the tomato paste can caramelize. This takes away a lot of the acid taste and it'll leave you a nice mellow taste of the tomato concentrate. Inshallah. We'll be adding one tablespoon of dirsa, which is red pepper paste. You can find that in Middle Eastern Turkish shops. I'm using the sweet variety, not the spicy. You can use spicy if you like. You can add a little spice if you prefer. Also adding a fourth teaspoon of sweet pepper, cleaned fava beans. The artichokes that have been cleaned and quartered. I want to add water, just enough water to cover everything. Put a lid on and cook it on low until the fava beans and artichokes are cooked. And now add in about a half a cup of rice. Give that a good stir and cover that until the rice is cooked completely. Hi, Tabeha Tana Wajda. As you can see, our finished dishes here are Tabeha. So you can see that we have the fava beans and the peas nicely cooked with the rice. I've put some of our chokes on top, so it gives them a little bit of a nice presentation. I am serving this with my Constantine Kesra, as you can see here. It's really nice and moist, still hot in fact. This is a nice vegan dish that you can have as a, as a main dish or as a side, along with some roasted meat or even grilled meat, inshallah. If you want more Algerian traditional dishes, be sure to check out the playlist in the cards above. And remember to subscribe for more videos and vlogs. Thanks for watching.